We have a tulip tree with brown leaves with spots. What is this and how can we fix it? And this is Charles right here in Memphis. All right, Joella. Yes. It's a tulip tree. Yes. Okay. State tree. State tree. For Tennessee. For Tennessee. All right. What's wrong with it? Uh, I'd say it was environmental. Uh, usually this time of year, uh, they start, you know, finishing up using all the carbohydrates they need in their leaves. Mm -hmm. And, you know, with inconsistent watering, that's probably the number one thing is inconsistent watering. Um, they'll start to yellow out like that. Okay. Um, sometimes it's uh, got too much water and it'll do that. It's the same same thing with not enough and too much water. You see it in both symptoms uh, of that particular tree. Okay. So uh, consistent watering is probably the key to it, but I wouldn't worry about it too much because it's already got all the carbohydrates that it needs so that it will be fine right. eventually. And you know, uh, fertilize it, keep it fertilized in the spring. Uh, and let it have enough nutrients to, to really grow and, and be beautiful. Yeah, it is our state tree. Yeah. Which has a lot of problems though. It you does. Know, they they do know, have a lot of scales and yeah. aphids. Aphids, yeah. yeah. I have one that's yeah. got just filled yeah, with aphids and scales. And you need a helicopter to enjoy the flowers, you know? Yeah. yeah. Beautiful flowers too. They are yeah, beautiful, beautiful but you can't see them. It's like the mimosa, yeah. you know. Yeah, like you have this. to fly yeah. over to see them most times. Wow. Yes, but I, I hope that the Baltimore Oriole is enjoying them. Yeah. <laughs> When they bloom, yeah, when they're right. migrating True. through. Right. So I, yeah. I think Tennessee helps the Baltimore Oriole with the tulip poplar yeah. trees. And it's a host so it's plant for some of our butterflies as well. Mm -hmm. Very you good know. for yeah. that. Yeah. But I noticed uh, my son has a huge tulip poplar. And I noticed just the other day, he doesn't do anything with it. It's huge. It's like two and a half feet, you know, in diameter. And it's throwing leaves. Mm -hmm. And I was kind of curious. I thought, well, you know, maybe just like she said, we've had such inconsistent yeah, moisture. Yeah. You know, and mm -hmm. it's getting that time of year mm -hmm. when things are starting. Mm -hmm. And sometimes in the fall, things trees will throw their leaves yes. prematurely yes. because of it's stress. Mm -hmm. You know, and stress being what? We don't know. But, I mean, you know, it could right. be a lot of things. Yeah. So I wouldn't worry about it. I wouldn't either. Yeah. I would only be concerned in the spring if you don't have any new buds. Yeah, right. exactly. Right, that's when I would the be concerned. The new growth has got to yeah. be there. Yeah. yeah. If you don't have new growth, problem. Hope you enjoyed the video. We would love to get more questions from you. So be sure to leave us some comments. 